Hello students. In this video, we will learn about support of a fuzzy set, height of a fuzzy set, normalized fuzzy set and convex fuzzy set with examples. The first definition is the support of a fuzzy set A. So the support of a fuzzy set A within a universal set X is the crisp set that contains all the elements of X that have non-zero membership grades in A. Very simply, the support of a fuzzy set A is the, uni is the those elements of the universal set X such that its membership grade is strictly greater than zero. This A of X represents the membership grade. Few textbooks represent it as mu A of X. So any representation we can use. So now I am using here A of X. So if the membership grades are strictly greater than 0. Then those elements of that fuzzy set come under the support of A. Now we shall understand this better with, the exa with an example. We use the same example which we used to learn the alpha cut. Now here so A1 is a fuzzy set. Now if we see the membership grades of A, we have A1 we have written here and so the support of A1 will be those elements of the crisp set whose membership grades are greater than 0. But for A1 we see that all the membership grades are 0 and so therefore the support of A1. So I will write it here. So support of A1 is the null set because all the membership grades are 0 in the set A1. So now next we will consider the fuzzy set A2. Now if we see the membership grades greater than 0 is 1 and 0 0.3 and all the member other membership grades are 0 and so what will come under the support of this fuzzy set A2 for 1 the uh, element from the universal set X is 5 and for 0 0.3 we have the element 15. So because 1 is the membership grade for 5 and 0 0.3 is the membership grade of 15 in the fuzzy set A2. And so because only these two are greater than 0 the support of A2 will be 15 comma uh, 5 that is uh, these two elements. So let us write that. So therefore support of the fuzzy set A2 is equal to the set 5 comma 15 because these are the only two elements whose membership grade grades are greater than 0. So similarly we shall do for the set A3. So when we check for the set A3 the elements with membership greater than 0 are 15 that is this is 0 0.2 which is greater than 0 so 15 and then 0 0.8 is also greater than 0 so 25 this is 1 so 35 0 0.6 it is greater than 0 so 45 and 0 0.4 is also greater than 0 so 55 and this is also greater than 0 so 65 so what will come under the support of the set a3 it will be 15 25 35 45 55 and 65 so let's write that so therefore support of a3 will be equal to 15 25 35 45 55 and 65 so this is how we write the support of a fuzzy set. We have two more fuzzy sets in the example. So let's check out the support of those sets also. So now here when we check out the fuzzy set A4 has these membership grades. Now if we see in this except these two all these membership grades are greater than 0. And so uh, the, the corresponding elements that is 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 and 85 will come under the support of the fuzzy set A4. Similarly for A5 when we check all these are 0 but 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1 and 1 these are greater than 0. So the corresponding elements that is 55, 65, 75 and 85 will come under the set support of A5. So let us write that. 
so these are those two sets we observed that all the support of a, of a fuzzy set are crisp sets because these are the elements of the universal set so the, these are all crisp sets and now uh, we have some uh, note here the symbols used for support of a set can be s u p p of a or s of a or it can be zero plus of a that is it is a strong alpha cut for alpha equal to zero actually because the support of a is the strong alpha cut of a for alpha equal to zero because what is alpha cut we know that alpha cut is those uh, elements whose membership grades are greater than or equal to alpha and and what is strong alpha cut those elements of the universal set whose membership grade are strictly greater than alpha if this alpha is zero this uh, set will become support of a fuzzy set because uh, we know that the membership grades which, which are greater than zero from that we obtain the support of the fuzzy set so therefore zero plus of a will be the uh, support of a fuzzy set so hence we conclude that the support of a is the strong alpha cut of a for alpha equal to 0 we have another property here if the value of alpha is equal to 1 so if it is one cut then it is called the core of a so we can expect this in the uh, these uh, conditions in one mark questions next we are going to learn very two sim simple definitions that is height of a fuzzy set and normalized fuzzy set so what is known as the height of a fuzzy set the the height of a fuzzy set represented as h of a is the largest membership grade obtained by any element in that set so our, if we consider a fuzzy set a we will check out for all the membership grades in that fuzzy set and the one which has the supremum value that is the largest value that will become the height of a fuzzy set let's check out this with the same example so if we check here what is the highest value that we have here for the set a1 okay the a1 is a fuzzy set and all its membership grades are zero and so therefore the height of this fuzzy set a1 is zero obviously so let's write that similarly if you check out here a2 has these membership grades and which is the largest of all these membership grades we know that it is this one so then uh, this one will become the height of the fuzzy set a2 so for a3 this uh, here also we have the largest value one so the height of a3 is one similarly the height of a4 will be one now again because the largest we have here one and the height of a5 if we check out here we have uh, the highest value one here so therefore the height of a5 is one so if we check out for all these four fuzzy sets the height is one and for the fuzzy set a1 the height is zero because the we don't have any values greater than this zero so therefore the the uh, the height of a1 is zero and we have written that here the height of a1 is 0 and the remaining all heights of the fuzzy set of the, of the remaining fuzzy sets is 1 now next we have the definition for a normalized fuzzy set so what is the what is a normalized fuzzy set a fuzzy set a is called normal when if it's uh, the height of that fuzzy set is equal to 1 so it's very simple just now we found the heights of few fuzzy sets here and we have got it to be one here if you see for a2 a3 a4 a5 all the fuzz all these fuzzy sets are having the height to be one which means that a2 a3 a4 and a5 are normalized fuzzy sets but if you check out here uh, the height of a1 is zero so the set a1 is not a normalized fuzzy set so if it is not a normalized fuzzy set what it will be the fuzzy set a is called subnormal when the when its height is lesser than one so uh, a1 will become a subnormal fuzzy set so hence we have a2 a3 a4 and a5 to be normalized fuzzy set so these are normalized fuzzy set it can be sed or zed whatever both the spellings are correct and both can be used as per our choice and here we have a1 to be subnormal so a1 is a subnormal fuzzy set
so this is what and the height of a is uh, can be said that it is the supremum of alpha for which the alpha cut of a is is not equal to an empty set so next we shall learn about a convex fuzzy set a fuzzy set is convex if its alpha cuts are convex for all alpha element of zero comma one, where we exclude the element zero, so it is uh, uh, between the between zero and one, excluding zero. That is uh, by the definition of convex set, which we have seen already. We know that if two elements belong to a set and this expression also belongs to the same set, then that set is said to be a convex set. So similarly, now we are we consider the alpha cut of A. That is this alpha cut, and we take two elements from it, and we see that uh, this this the th this expression that is lambda x one plus one minus lambda x two will also belong to that same alpha cut for all lambda zero comma one. If it is so, then the fuzzy set itself becomes a convex set. So a fuzzy set is becomes a convex set if if its alpha cut sets are convex. So let's see this with the help of the same example. We have already written the set uh, alpha cut for A three when alpha equal to zero point two. So this is the set. It is there in our previous video. I have explained it how we wrote this. Now let's take this set and let's have it. So what is this set A three? It is young. So alpha cut for alpha equal to zero point two. We have this set. Now for this set. Let's find the convexity. Let's check whether it is a convex set or not. So, as per the definition, we have to consider two elements x one, x two from the set alpha cut. That that is uh, alpha cut of A three. Now, let the two element let x one be fifteen, for example, and x two be twenty five. Any two elements we can have. So, fifteen and twenty five. I am choosing from this alpha cut set. So now. For example, if I give, uh, we have the expression lambda x one plus one minus lambda x two should also belong to that uh, alpha cut set. If this satisfies, then it becomes a convex fuzzy set. Now, if you consider lambda to be where we know that lambda belongs to the closed interval zero comma one. So, for example, if lambda is equal to zero. So what will happen? We will put zero here. So this term vanishes, and one minus zero is one. So it will be x two. But what is x two? We have taken twenty five. So twenty five is already an element of this set, and hence it becomes the alpha cut because twenty five comes under the category young. Rather than saying that these elements, it it should come under the category young. Either it can be these elements, or uh, some value between these elements also it can be. Okay, so because we are we are concerned with the category young only, so it can be some elements in between uh, this uh, that it it can be uh, it can be between fifteen and twenty five, twenty five and thirty five, thirty five and forty five, or forty five and fifty five. Either these values or in between values because all those values come under the category young. Now when we take lambda to be equal to zero, we obtain. Uh, here we substitute zero and this turns zero, and here we have uh, one minus zero, so one multiplied with x two, which is twenty five. So twenty five is an element of um, the alpha cut, and hence here uh, this becomes a convex set. Now if we choose lambda to be equal to one, for example, so that is uh, this will be fifteen. So fifteen plus so because one into fifteen will be fifteen. Fifteen plus one minus one will become zero, and so this term will vanish. And we see that fifteen is also an element of the alpha cut set A three. Now, for example, if I choose uh, some a value between these two, so if I choose lambda to be equal to zero point five, which I can take it as one by two. So when I substitute here lambda to be equal to one by two, what will I obtain? One by two multiplied with x one. X one what we have chosen fifteen. So fifteen plus uh, one minus uh, lambda, which is one minus one by two. Again, it is one by two multiplied with. Now what is x two? We have chosen to be twenty five. So multiplied with twenty five. So when we simplify this, we obtain it to be forty by two. So that will be forty by two, which is equal to twenty. Now if you check out this twenty comes under comes in between fifteen and twenty, and hence it comes under the category young. We are concerned with the category only. So it is under the category young, and hence it is a convex set. 
so this is the uh, idea of the uh, concept hope you have understood all the concepts that we have learnt in this video thank you